love this song. Let me go turn it down. Hi guys, it's Rob. Somebody had asked about this lantern a couple of days ago, so I wanted to show that to you. I just kind of cleaned the dust off a little bit. This is an old Deets kerosene lantern. I don't know how old this guy is. I intended to look it up before I did this video, but I didn't. And I just want to get this done right quick. This is just going to be a little short, and I was going to show you. I made a candle lantern. Uh, made it into a candle lantern. I started to say made a candle lantern out of it, but whatever. Anyway, let me get over here. I'll show you some of the cool things about this. This is just a neat lantern. It's a Dietz number two, made in New York. This is a D-Light. And I'm guessing that this thing is probably about the same age as the finger chopper there, but but I don't know. I'm, I'm going to put this in the 100 year range for sure. I'm pretty sure we got both of these at the same estate sale. Um, I may be wrong about that, but you can see right there, number two, D-Light. Deets, get the handle out of the way. New York, USA. This lantern is a, it's just a cool old lantern. We've got some newer Deets lanterns uh, that we use, kerosene lanterns that we still still use now. Let me back it back up a little bit here. And I will show you how it works. It's not anything fancy, but just kind of fun. That's probably going to be too close. All right. So what I did was I took a tea candle and I figured that'd be as good a light as anything for this and I can probably use some bigger ones but this worked well enough that I didn't do anything different. This is just a couple of canning rings that I put on here and I'm sorry I'm absolutely filthy. I just got done working over at a feed production plant here at my local feed lot trying to get some stuff fixed there and I'm pretty sure I didn't ask for any help so pardon me while I put you in the floor kitty cat and what I did is just a little mayonnaise lid or something that fits inside of there to, to hold the, the candle to it and I took a little wax and put on there and I heat that up and the, can and the tea candle sticks to it now the reason I did that let me show you let me show you how this thing works first of all if y'all don't have a kerosene lantern even the newer ones are still pretty much the same there's a a little spring-loaded lever right here that you lift that raises the whole thing up and that way you can get to where the wick would come out and let that down. Oh, I got it in the spot. There we go. And then when you want to put it inside the globe, which is what I got to do, this piece right here lifts up on its own when you get it unhung from the globe. There we go. And then that tilts out very nicely like that. And then if you see inside there, it's got that that wick guard that the wick sticks up through so that's how you adjust the light on a lantern like this there's a little handle right here that usually you can turn but this and the grease worms got to it a long time ago and normally you would you'd raise and lower your wick and that's what controls the brightness of a lantern maybe later ah that came undone that's okay though um that's what would control the brightness and maybe we'll get a real can kerosene lantern let me heat that guy up again just got a little wax right there just kind of warm that up and I can tell when it's warm because the wax melts and my finger gets hot on the other side. Now, down there where that wick guard is, we need that little hollow space right there. So, let me set this dude in here. Maybe I can do it without everything coming apart again. Maybe not, but... Alright, there we go. Now, that sits in there nicely. And then I can light that guy. And it lights up nicely. Lift this back up. Turn that back into place. Set that on there. And it's not completely level, but it's close enough. Turn it the other way. It shows a little bit better. And you can tell. Let me look, let me show you the bottom of this. Is one reason we don't use it. Can you see that? Yeah, it's completely got holes in it and everything. You're never going to get that to hold fuel again. But the globe is still good. That's what's cool. Usually on an old lantern like this, you don't get the globe with it. But this one you do, and it's great. So let me go turn the lights off, and you'll see it does put out a light. This candle's almost burned down, so it won't do it justice, but it'll still give the effect, I think.
Yep. Now you can't hardly tell it, but this is good enough, especially when your eyes get adjusted to the dark and once that gets to burning good and starts pulling that wax in with it, that it puts out a fairly good little light. Like I say, you can't see great. See if you can even light up my face, it may not. I don't know. Just as well not. I'm going to go turn the lights back on. I may have to bring the lantern over so I can turn the light on. Anyway, that's it. The Deets number no. two, formerly kerosene lantern. I am. I'm gonna. I'm gonna see if I can find this, and I'll put it in the description, maybe. But I'll bet it's 100 years old. If it's not, I would sure be surprised. So, there you go, guys. Thanks for watching, and I will talk to y'all later.